Hi, I'm Tara Schmidlin, one of the CPMC genetic counselors. Before you view your results, I want to give you some information about what the results can and cannot tell you. When viewing your results for any condition, it is important to remember that the testing done as part of the CPMC study only looks at disease risk. CPMC test results are not a medical diagnosis. Testicular cancer is a cancer that occurs in the testicles. The testicles are the part of the male reproductive system responsible for sex hormone and sperm production. Most cases of testicular cancer begin in the cells that make the sperm, known as germ cells. Testicular cancer is rare compared to most other cancers. Testicular cancer occurs most commonly among Caucasian men between the ages of 20 and 34. One in 260 men will be diagnosed with testicular cancer in their lifetime. Fortunately, testicular cancer is highly treatable, even when it has spread to other parts of the body. Women will not receive risk estimates for testicular cancer. If you are female, your genetic variant result may be informative for your male relatives, your father, brothers, and sons. There are many factors that make up your overall risk for developing testicular cancer, some of which you can control and some you cannot control. The primary risk factors for testicular cancer include being between the ages of 20 and 34, being Caucasian, having a family history of testicular cancer, having had an undescended testicle, history of inguinal hernia, having a twin sibling, identical or fraternal, height greater than 5 feet 9 inches, and genetics. We mentioned that genetics are a risk factor for testicular cancer. The majority of testicular cancer cases are caused by a combination of multiple genes, lifestyle factors, and the environment. It is estimated that about 25% of the risk of testicular cancer in the Caucasian population is due to differences in genetic risk factors, while the remaining 75% of the risk is due to differences in non-genetic risk factors. Most of the time, a lump on a testicle is the first sign of testicular cancer. In some cases, symptoms are not apparent until the disease is more advanced. The following are symptoms of testicular cancer. A dull pain in the abdomen or groin, a lump or enlargement in either testicle, feeling of heaviness in the scrotum, sudden accumulation of fluid in the scrotum, or pain or discomfort in a testicle or the scrotum. Talk to your doctor about any symptoms you may have. See your doctor if you have any swelling, pain, or lumps in a testicle or in the groin area lasting for more than two weeks. It is not possible for testicular cancer to be diagnosed by genetic testing. Testicular cancer must be diagnosed by a urologist using physical exam, blood tests, ultrasound, or surgery. Regular testicular self-exams have not been studied well enough to show a reduction in death from testicular cancer. Therefore, there are no specific guidelines or recommendations for testicular self-exam frequency. Some doctors recommend monthly testicular self-exams beginning after puberty. Now let's talk specifically about the CPMC results and genetic risks for testicular cancer. Studies have shown that a particular genetic variant called RS995030 is associated with a reduced risk for testicular cancer in men who have one or two copies of this variant. Remember that we all have two copies of every gene. We inherit one copy from our mother and one from our father. This means that for every genetic variant the CPMC study looks at, you can have either zero, one, or two copies. Your CPMC results will tell you how many copies of this protective genetic variant you have. Men who do not have this protective variant will have a non-protective variant instead. Having non-protective variant does not increase your risk for testicular cancer, but it does not offer the same protection against the disease as seen in men who have the protective variant. Your testicular cancer results tell you about the impact of a protective variant on your risk to develop testicular cancer. Having one or two copies of a protective genetic variant decreases your risk of testicular cancer compared to men who have two copies of the non-protective genetic variant. Having two copies of a non-protective genetic variant increases your risk of testicular cancer 
compared to men who have one or two copies of the protective genetic variant. Remember, testicular cancer is a complex disease, which means that it is caused by a combination of variants in multiple genes and the environment. No single genetic variant causes testicular cancer, so no single genetic variant will completely predict your risk for testicular cancer. Results of CPMC testing alone do not diagnose testicular cancer or rule out the chance of developing testicular cancer in the future. Genetic variant information can help estimate your risk of testicular cancer. However, other risk factors, like your family history or lifestyle, may have a greater impact on your risk than any individual genetic variant. We may learn of other genetic variants that influence your risk of testicular cancer in the future. As we learn more, your estimated genetic risk for testicular cancer may change. We'll keep you updated on changes through the CPMC web portal. For more information, consider sharing your CPMC results with your healthcare provider. You can also contact a CPMC genetic counselor, read information on the CPMC health condition page, or attend a CPMC educational event.